guys, welcome to Jody's World. So today I uh, wanted to review and do a comparison of the YSL wallet on chain bags for you guys. Um, here they are behind me. Previously I did do an unboxing of the haul that I got from them and these are bags that, you know, like I said, I've been wanting for 12 years and finally a store popped up and I was able to get my hands on them. So I really wish someone would have done a video like this um, just so I could have had a better idea of what I wanted out of this. But clearly, um, I actually like both styles. So I ended up getting both of them. So I figured since I have both of them, I can show you guys what the main differences are and then you can see um basically if you want the bigger one or the smaller one so i'll go ahead and start with um the classic monogram and this is in the chevron uh with the um what is it called like pebbled leather so it doesn't scratch easily beautiful like I love this bag with gold hardware I know it comes with gold or silver hardware but I have a lot of other bags that already have silver hardware so I really wanted to for this um Saint Laurent YSL bag collection build a gold hardware collection so this one as you can see um let see. <laughs> Ooh, let me see if I can scoot back on this one comes down to like right just to where my hip is basically but it's a beautiful bag and I'm gonna do some measurements for you because it is because when I hold them side by side you'll notice the difference is very slight but it actually makes a huge difference when you're actually wearing them so the top of it measures about nine inches and so that's the width and the length of it is six inches. So it's nine by six. And surprisingly, this holds a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know if you can see in there that well with the lighting, but there are at least, um, for cards, like 30 card holders in here. And then there's also a zipper where I guess you can put um, change or, oh, I still have the wrapping in here. Um, in there, but basically when I wear these to go out like all I really need is My chapstick my Carmex um, Some gum my phone and my keys and you know, maybe some other things But it definitely fits a lot in here and maybe after I review these two I can show you all the stuff that I can put in this one um, So you can see even though it's you know, they call it wallet on chain it's a purse for me. So this is the first one. And like I said, I'm so sorry about the angle. I wish I could fix it. But um, when I wear it, it hangs to about my hip. And that's how it looks. And for me, since I'm only five feet, I can actually still wear it as a crossbody without it looking weird. Because it still falls right above my hip. But I think if you're taller, um, I definitely would not recommend wearing this as a crossbody because uh it'll be a lot shorter and this other smaller option will be a much better fit if you're looking for a crossbody bag but if you're looking for an evening bag just to wear as the as you know a shoulder bag or they showed me at the store but um i'm still figuring it out but there's a way to kind of jimmy rig this where you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this if you like it short. So I'll have to work on that and show you guys that once I figure that out. So here's the wallet on the chain, the standard size monograph with gold hardware. So another main difference is the chain on this is all gold and it's very beautiful, very heavy and just looks very nice so i really like that about this bag but like i said the whole chain um is metal whereas on this one that i'm going to show you now and we'll do some side by sides after that here's the same one in the smaller size it's the exact same bag with the chevron and the um pebbled leather which i got because i like because it doesn't scratch like lambskin or just leather 
but as you can see it's gold hardware gold chain but at the very top it has leather on top so that's one of the main differences besides the size of the bag but this one i absolutely love okay Short people problems, I think I have it figured out. I have a little step stool, so you can kind of see. So for this one, it hangs much lower, like past the hip. It hangs all the way down to there. And it's I meant for, I believe, to be worn as a crossbody. And it's beautiful, because look at, as a crossbody, it just hangs right at the right place. And this is definitely how I'm going to be wearing it most of the time as a crossbody but if i feel like going to dinners and you know things like that like a fancy dinner i can still wear it to the side just on the side and it's beautiful i like how long it is and how it hangs longer so um that's why i decided to get both of them because i just felt like with both of them there's just so many different occasions you can wear them with you know so this one as a crossbody you could wear more casual type things or still fancy dinners whereas this one I feel like looks a lot more luxurious and fancy oh and now that I have my step stool I can show you guys hopefully how it looks when I wear it there we go so this is how it looks just hanging off my shoulder and as a crossbody yeah I don't know if I could wear it as a crossbody it's even kind of eh for me so I probably will not be wearing this as a crossbody but you can you know and I'm five feet so I don't know think about that think about it um that's why I got both because I want to be able to wear have a crossbody one and then one for dinner so let's measure the smaller one and then I'll show you a side by side of them so the smaller one the length of it measures seven and a half inches oh I'm sorry the width and the height is about five inches so I mean when I put them side by side it's not very noticeable and that's why I saw like a bunch of reviews on it and I was just all thinking to myself like what is the main difference because they look almost the same but when you wear it in person, this does look much bigger as in just like a, I would say, regular small handbag. And this definitely looks more smaller as a more evening type clutch bag is what I would have to say for this one. So, and I can show you, I mean, it's, like I said, it's hard unless you see it in person, but they're inches apart. You're probably two inches up there probably just one and two you know but the main thing about these two is like I said the chain all gold on the bigger one and it's got the leather on the smaller one and this one holds a lot more and I'll show you in the little one because I was just kind of surprised oh, I still have the packaging and stuff in here but basically, um, that one had a 30 card slot, and this one only has an 8 eight card slot. So significantly less, but I don't know if you have like 30 cards to put in here, really. You know, I think 8 is plenty, and they also, it, both of these also have the back pocket here, and then the... Um, open zipper part where you can store change or anything else and um for this one i'm most likely just going to be wearing it out to dinners so all i really need in there is my cell phone um my chapstick and maybe like my lip gloss or lipstick whatever i'm wearing and a couple cards you know so this one does the job and I think it's so cute and it's definitely the best for like a crossbody bag but that's the main difference with the two of these and like I said I love them both so much that um I got it in both sizes so but like I said these are classic staple pieces with the gold hardware I'm gonna be 
wearing these for a long time to come and I'm gonna be keeping them and probably gifting them to my kids or you know if I don't have a daughter maybe my daughter-in-law something like that but um anyways quick side note sorry I have to film in here I have a crazy two-year-old out there I wanted to be sitting you know so I can measure and do all this for you guys but he would have been all up in this because he's Mr. Personality but so these are the two bags and what I'm going to do now is see how much I can fit in this big one versus how much I can fit in this smaller one okay so hang tight and I will be right back and show you guys okay so I brought some items back um I didn't want to stuff it too much because clearly you can fit a lot of stuff in here so just to show you on the regular sized one a normal size one I have my phone in here I have a like lip gloss I have my chapstick I have even my compact fits in there this is crazy and then also bronzer I mean and that's just the start like and that clipped so easily so easily I say phone compact lip gloss liner all your cards you can fit a lot in here this is basically like a purse so something other than I can't even think like a regular camera <laughs> probably wouldn't fit in here but you know anything thin or like hair ties lipstick lip gloss um eyeshadow everything will fit in here eyeshadow brushes this one's huge so this one definitely holds a lot and then, but for this one, I wanted to show you because I think this one is the real, you know, we don't know because it's much smaller. So let's see right now. I haven't put anything in here yet, but let's see my cell phone. I'll put my bronzer in here, my compact, and then my lip gloss and my chapstick. So that looks pretty snug. And this will include um, all your, you know, like your ID, credit card, and all that stuff. But it's perfect. And it looks like, besides some change, it's kind of to the brim, you know. So that definitely holds over twice as much as this bag. So if you're looking for something that needs to hold more than just these few items that I showed you, what I call the essentials, you know, your phone your compact, your chapstick, lipstick, and your ID and your credit cards. This is your go-to. But if you need more stuff in there, um, I would definitely recommend with going with the bigger one. So overall, I think if you're looking for a more so um, purse handbag to wear that and you tend to have more stuff, and it's not just for, you know, a special occasion, dinner, or going out with the girls, and you just need more stuff to put in your bag, I would definitely recommend the regular, the standard size one, because this thing fits a lot. But let's say you're just going out on a date night or a girls' night, and all you need is your ID, your phone, um, lip gloss, chapstick, gum, you know, that kind of stuff, the smaller one will be your go-to, because it'll fit all of that, but not more than that. So I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, but overall, the one I like and I, the one that I think is most versatile, even though it holds um, not as much stuff, is the smaller one. I just love, literally, I love how, and I've been looking for one, long this hangs. And with a dress, it is absolutely beautiful, like how long it hangs. And... For me, if I'm wearing this, like, I don't need a bunch of stuff. I know that when I'm going to be wearing this, I just need my essential five items, and I'm good to go. And then also, I love that I can wear it as a crossbody, too. I think it's one of the main things that really sold me on this one, because that one, even though I'm five feet, like, I can't, I don't like the way it looks as a crossbody. So, if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely pick this one if you're only going to get one but since I've been wanting these forever I decided to splurge I got both and I think 
They're both very beautiful bags and I'm going, you know, I'm building my collection so I'm going to have them for a long time. So I will be wearing both of these and like I said, yeah, I wish someone would have shown me this prior so then I didn't have to be in the store for two hours trying to decide which one to get and then finally my husband said just get both you know they're classic they're beautiful they're not never gonna go out of style and you know just get them so after that I decided I will get a lot of use out of both of them so I, I decided to get both but if you're debating my recommendation would definitely be the smaller one crossbody much more versatile but holds less stuff so you can weigh your options there but um so this is my first review that i've actually done on um handbags and i'm so excited because i'm building like i said my ysl st laurent bag collection and i do actually already have a chanel bag collection and i'm so excited to show you those pieces and review them for you because um i've had them for so long and you know this collection has taken me 12 years to build and I can show you the pros and cons to all of them. But um, since prior to, you know, just a couple months ago, all I had were Chanel bags. Now I'm like on this huge YSL bag kit because I think they're just so gorgeous. Um, but I will review the other ones individually for you in the different colors. And I'm also thinking about picking up a white one in this size. Because I think that'd be so beautiful with the gold hardware and a pale pink one with a crossbody like I just think that looks so pretty for fall or summer with a lot of summer dresses so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review I hope it was helpful for you um I'm very very indecisive so I know trust me I know the struggle so if this was able to help you out I, that makes me super happy but I would definitely recommend um if you're able to go to a store that has them and try them on because the way they look online and on the mannequin is not how they're going to look on you. You know, the mannequins are 5'10 or 5'7. They're like model height. I'm 5 feet, so where these hit and fall on you is going to be very different. And then also how they look online is very different from how they look in person. Personally, I, I think they look more beautiful in person. And then you also, I also, if I can, like to, if I'm making big purchases like this, um see exactly what I'm getting and try it on before you know I order it from something so they're the Saint Laurent stores I know they're you know very few of them they're in like big cities but I know they do carry these especially you know these are like the classic ones um at Nordstrom or uh Saks Fifth Avenue and Barney's I believe so if you have any of those close by you I would definitely recommend doing that or if you don't then you know I would call because that's what I did and I have a girl there now her name's Sarah and she's amazing so she actually takes pictures for me now of new pieces that they have and they offer you know doing things on consignment where they can send it to you um and if you like it you get charged for it and you get to keep the bag and if you don't you just send it back but I would definitely recommend if you have one uh, a store by you to go there and try it on in person because even me trying this on in person these two I couldn't decide for two hours and then I finally ended up getting both of them so they do fit differently on uh, different height and body types so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review I hope it was helpful and if it was please give it a thumbs up a like and please subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be doing a lot more of handbag reviews and unboxings and also a lot with fashion different um pieces of clothing bargain shopping um clothing hauls i also love food and just lifestyle everyday things so hopefully you guys will join me on my channel as we have fun with being girly, fun stuff, fashion, and food. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.